Crane's car. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss the spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Damn! God damn it! Fuck, man! Tell me what you know now! Welcome back to some Wolf Among Us, folks. You can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Crane, get away from her. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just... Just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. It's going down. <laughs> you trying to summon Captain Planet, bitch? Please. Tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed. Hold on, we got some new Book of Fables. Hey, everybody good? I'm gonna do two episodes today. It's my granddad's birthday, so I'm gonna take them out. I don't have a whole lot of time, and I gotta be to work in about 45 minutes. So for y'all, we gonna do videos. I might be a couple minutes late to work, but it be like that sometimes. The Headless Horseman has been added to the list. Uh, Trip Trap was just a bar. Add it to the list. Auntie Greenleaf, aka the White Deer, has been added to the list. Then we have those two. I'll look at those later. Let's get back into it. To be honest, I think Crane might be telling the truth, man. And I feel like they're going to add another plot to this. Let's keep watching. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... I just... Oh, God! We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's... That was... I just... I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. Yeah. It is not love. Yeah. Lord Ant Head. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to... Shut up. Don't <laughs> talk to me. Okay, okay. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't, I don't. Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. 
We're not gonna kill you. So quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel. The right to depose witnesses. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess you know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. I would step on his fingers. You have what it takes to run that office. You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. <laughs> he said, hmm. Now he's trying to walk around with his shoulders up. So obviously there's a spell on the girls, the mirror, Faith, Lily, and nobody can talk until the spell is broken. So we get that. But you won't tell us who's involved, sucker. Okay. Stupid girls and their preposterous schemes. What are you saying? What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. If I were you, I'd get out of the way. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Oh, move! Holy shit, I wasn't ready! Oh. That ain't no good. That ain't no good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he ain't dead. Man, he better not be dead. Can't kill him like that. But you know what's about to happen, right? How many clips, how many rounds I got left in those clips, man? You know what they call me. Nah. Ain't gonna work. Yeah! Come 
on, Bigby. Come on, Bigby. Yo, it, it, this episode, the story, this is crazy. Oh shit! <laughs> Good work. There you go. Bruh. 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 You want some too? You know your bullets don't work. Come here. Look like she got several bu Oh. I should have killed him. But in these stories, the obvious answer is not always the best answer. I might have fucked up though. Don't judge me. Shut up. I love you. He's working for somebody else anyway. That dude's nothing but a pawn. She got several bullets in that gun. I know she do. Oh God, pick me! It was a good show, but you know, I just didn't know when to end. Hey Snow, can you give me a hand? Hey Snow, I need help. Snow, step up! Oh, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on it. Bitch, you just gonna stand here in the back? Help me! Oh Lord, no! I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. So, so, so. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes! Get out of here! It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kind of like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Bruh. Uh, me not.
not killing one of the Tweedles, better come and help us later. I think that's probably the end of the episode, yo. Guys. Holy shit! Bye! He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even gonna be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you?